Yeah, this was on that back, that back table. I left. Alright, this is the Glock slide that's in there, by the way. I do not like those sights. So, you know, the little uh, stock Gen 3, or uh, Gen 1 sights. With the little, um, and the dot. So, if worse comes to worse, i got to replace them. But what I'm going to do is put a little dot, with a little stubble. Make sure it's straight. Sand them down a little bit. I got a Dremel over there with a real small drill. I'm only using this to get a starter hole so the drill doesn't drift. And then um, I've got some uh, paint. I'll drop it in the holes and uh, convert it to a three dot. And if it doesn't look right, like I say, I got to replace it anyway. And what better gun to do it with is with one that I don't like. You follow? Let me get my dirty t-shirt over here, my dirty sweat. And uh, get these lined up right there. One. Two. I'm ready. I'll be back in a second and I'll try to uh, splice these. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I think I'm just going to put them together. But for now, I've got to turn you off because I don't want to waste battery and time. It's a good thing I checked this before I uh, decided to do anything. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but that is wobbling like crazy. And it's in there perfectly straight. So uh, do I have a problem here with a, maybe a bent bit? Or do I have a problem here with um, maybe the, the Dremel was finally shut the bed? Oh, wait a minute. I know what I have a problem with. The problem is, hello, the drill is too small for the Dremel. But that's tightened all the way. So if I want to use this drill, which I did, because I want to go small, uh, I guess I'm going to have to put something around that drill, and uh, which is not going to be an issue, only because I'm not going to be drilling to anything tight, hard, or anything. I'm just going to be putting a very small mark and some plastic. I'll be right back. Now there we go. As you can see, I put a little taper on the edge. And seeing that I'm not doing any heavy drilling or anything, that table works just fine. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. What I had done here was I had to go get the charger only because the battery went dead. These batteries are, are shot. Um, I don't know what the problem is with this camera and batteries, but the battery that came with it, okay, it's not the best battery in the world. It's not a heavy-duty battery. You know, it's not an extra, extra life battery, you know, it's just the, the battery that came with it. But, um, if I was to leave the door open on this normally, uh, within a 30 seconds or so, so it would shut off. Um, but if I leave the door open now, the battery will go dead before it has a chance to shut off. So in the interim of doing all this, and that's why I'm telling you because of the delay here, um, you did not see some of this being done. So, uh, the holes are done, however, and the battery is plugged in, so hopefully it'll do some charging as well. The system will get hot while I'm doing this, while it's charging at the same time. But I did bring out the Canon, 
so uh, I've got that I can use as well. But now what I'm going to do is uh, work on uh, getting some some paint in there. So I'm going to get out a couple of toothpicks and I'm going to go find some nice white, bright white enamel and I am going to start putting them in. So I'm going to turn this off again, let it charge up a little bit so it doesn't heat up and blow up.